Hello and welcome to another Site Features video. Today I'm going to talk about the views available. So what you see in front of you is the standard home page. These are called excerpts views and that's because they contain an excerpt of the main post. Now um, these views are available on the main front page and they're also available when you click a tag. So if we were here, we're on the tags page and we want to see the maps and mods that have a very short play time. Okay, so here we go. We can see that we've got 87 of these releases and it explains exactly what very short is. It's under five minutes of gameplay. Got a link to the RSS feed for this category. And then you've got the actual excerpt, which in this case is the featured image, the, U, the map name, which game it's for, a little bit of the description, the types of recommendations that have been received, how many comments, whether you've downloaded it or not. No, you have not re reviewed this release. That's because I'm using the my Philip John, which is my fake general user, not my admin user, how many downloads. So the excerpt for a map and mod gives you quite a lot of information. They're displayed in chronological order with the newest at the top. Now, sometimes I update a post, and if I change the update date to the uh, today's date, the date that I'm doing it, that will mean that it will get to the, the top of the, the list. Now, if I go to categories, and I scroll down here, and I just choose episode two, maps and mods, I get exactly the same view, okay? Um, we've got, in this case, it's the same map or mod because it's on the top and exactly the same information is available. So this is the excerpt view. Quite useful for maps and mods if you want to have more information and uh, to see some uh, an initial image. But the second view I want to talk about is called the Play Archives. Now this view is only available for maps and mods. So if I go to episode two, just as an example, but it's the same for all of those uh, menu items, the play, the half-life, etc, etc. It's the same. So here we go. What we have now is we have a table view. Now I've discussed the view, this view before, so I won't go into too many details. What you don't get from this compared to the excerpt view is you don't get an image and you don't get the introduction text, but you get a lot more information. In addition, the information is orderable and filterable. So if you only want to see the mediums, Okay, you can filter immediately. It tells you how many you've got down here. 70, fantastic. And you can do that on multiple columns. And you have the tags. So if I were to remove that just for a second, and I were to put very short, okay, I can still see the same maps and mods that I would have seen before. Uh, let me just put them in the same order. There we go. Um, in the excerpt view. So those are the two views for maps and mods. Excerpt view, picture, description, some information. Archives, table format, filterable, orderable. Now, let's move on to the other types of posts. Well, we're gonna go back to categories, just to remind you that uh, tags, my apologies, tags are only used for maps and mods. Okay, so all of these tags only will show you maps and mods. Whereas categories are all the types of different posts, the categories of posts. Now, clicking a link here will show you an excerpt view. So if we were to just go poll questions, what we see here is we have the poll questions and they're in the excerpt view, the image, the title, of course, and some information. Now, perhaps this isn't really helpful to you because you want to see, I don't know, some more information, but there's no more information in an excerpt that's not a map or a mod. All right, now the last view. The last view is called a timeline view. This view is not available in maps and mods. Not exactly, anyway. So if we were to now go to poll questions, what you now see is basically a list. It's a chronological timeline view of all of the um, um, poll questions, excuse me. Okay, and it, it says it here, so I should, have, I should have known. Now, one of the useful features here, as I put here, quick tip, use Control F to search for the title of a post, assuming that you use a standard type browser. If you go Control F, in fact, I won't do it there. If I go Control F, 
per time lucky oh sorry it's down the bottom I'm expect I'm I'm accustomed to using um, Chrome and it's normally at the top right so if I wanted to see oh what about um, questions that contain the word valve well I can see that I've got 19 matches here and I can go through them so if you're looking for a particular thing I don't know horror don't even know if I've got okay this tells me I don't have any horror so this can this particular view the timeline view can be very useful for looking for the words in the titles it only checks the titles the control F of your browser only gives you information of the text on the screen not to do with any of the uh, information in the post so you can just choose any of those text interview and there we go not so many text interviews all right, same for the listen, audio interviews. These are in um, timeline. But of course, you can, if you wanted to, go back to categories and you can go to audio interviews and see them in a excerpt format if you prefer. Okay, so let's summarize before we have a quick look at the, uh, the total timeline and the search. You have excerpts which are used on the front page, they are used for tags, and they are used for categories. So all types of posts can be viewed in those. The next one you have is a timeline. They are used for everything except maps and mods. And they, can be, um, they can't be ordered. Basically, when you get here, you can't change the order. You get them in this order, and they're the newest first. And then the last one is the what I'm calling archives, the play archives, which is the table. Those are the three main views. Now, if you were to search for something, I'm going to search for Union, fantastic map uh, mod for episode two, you'll see that it comes up in an excerpt view. So the search results are in excerpt view. Whatever you search for, Vendetta comes up in an excerpt view. Now, very lastly, down the bottom of the Explore menu item is the complete timeline. Be aware, or beware. If you don't have a fast enough connection, this might be quite slow because this lists every single post made on the site. Now, a post is an entry. So it does include maps and mods, but they're not separated out. They're listed in order. Now, I suppose if you really wanted to, you could search for those things. And what you'll notice is if you wanted to search for Half-Life 2, you could quickly, I suppose, if I search for Half-Life 2, it'll tell me that there's 100 matches and I can jump through here. Now, that's not particularly helpful because it's going to show you the episode 2. What I'm trying to say is that the complete timeline isn't really useful for finding maps and mods and I wouldn't use it for that. I would use another system, probably the Play Archives. So it's just a text list, but as you can see, that's a lot. I think there's probably three or two, at least two and a half thousand um, posts on the site. So, it, you know, it might take a time to load if you've got a very uh, slow connection. So those are the views, excerpts, timelines, and archives, which is the table. So thanks for listening and watching. If you have any questions about how to navigate the site, please don't hesitate to write a question in the comments and I'll answer it as soon as possible. And remember, finishing Half-Life is just the beginning. See ya.